What is up, Stationers? I am some guy, some game. Thank you for joining me once again here on Europa and the land of perpetual cold and mostly perpetual darkness. There's been a few changes to the game recently, uh, causing me some problems. One of them being that now water, the temperature does matter, and I assume it has to be at least 15 degrees Celsius or up to 50, 50 degrees. I think that's the temperature range of plants. Either way, we're going to try to get it in the 20s at least. And, you know, not putting frozen water on plants makes sense. It probably wouldn't be a good idea in real life. So in the game, it does make sense. The change definitely makes sense. And uh, I've also got my organics printer up. There were some uh, bad times. And there were some uh, good times. But we've uh, got it all sorted out at this point, and we've got some potatoes to grow. That's the most important thing. And I'm going to go ahead and get started here while we got some daylight coming in. If I can find the right button. I hit every button. That's usually how I find the right one. And I want to get some pipes out here. And then I want to get my backpack open. We're going to make some changes so that we can get some warm water in the base. I also have another issue that developed. Uh, I'll show you here. I'll talk about it when I get there. But first of all, we need to come out here and remove these pipes along the back because this area is cold so we don't want the pipes out here where they're going to get cold since this is going to be supplying our water it all makes sense you'll see what I'm going to do here in a second and let's head back in oh I'm going to need this guy and you know I can grab the I'm going to need some pipe radiators let's drop this let's just grab a couple while I'm out here I can always replace these ones whoa Alright, I guess, I guess I didn't have a free hand there, so that one kind of took some liberties with its... But we'll, we'll we'll go ahead and free open a hand here so I can grab, grab the rest of this. Oh, uh, let's see if I can get that last one. Jet I flip on my jetpack. Alright, now that we got that, put all that away, we got these guys. And then I can't grab everything else. Let's, let's try to get it all in here. I'm going to try to do all this from inside. I might not succeed. I might have to come back out anyways. We are going to have a few issues we have to deal with. Alright, let's close this up. Suction out all the air in here. And I'm going to get my... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pop the angle grinder back into my belt. It's. I've been comically watching it fly around every time I suction everything out for a while now. I probably, uh, probably can just go ahead and pop it back in my belt. Alright, what do we got here? That's the grinders. Let's wait for this to get down. Or the grinders, the radiators, I'm sorry. And uh, we're going to wait for this to get vacuumed down. I don't want to mix too much of that cold air with my warmness I got going on in the other room. But we also have another development. I don't know where they came from. I assume it was something to do with one of the recent changes because I never saw it in here before. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second. And another thing, I know last video I kept saying uh, PSI. I meant KPA. You know, I, I make mistakes like that. Sorry about that if any of you noticed. I'm sure some of you did. But I try to correct that stuff in the future. If you notice something like that, feel free to let me know. That way I don't keep making the same mistake. All right, I'm going to quit playing soccer with that guy. Let's open this up. Now, we've got some hydrogen in here. And I don't know where it came from. I'm not sure what's creating it. It could be something. I don't know. I know that I don't want it in here because hydrogen is highly flammable. And we're going to try to get that out of here. So that's one of our challenges we need to do. And another one is to finish this pipe network. So let me flip this guy off, and we're going to put him back on the belt for now. Get the pipe wrench out. Probably pick up my pipes over here, because why not? Let's add them to the stack. We're going to do this. My, you know, my goals are usually to make things simple. So I guess I could have left that on straight right there. Let's get him over that pipe. And then let's do a corner piece right here. I could do this several different ways. Let's let's put it down. I know I need to also get used to using the new auto rotate. Let's hit that. See what happens. Oh, yep. See that was nice. All right, let's hit it again. Eh, close, but not quite the way I want it. And let's do that. We want to connect these guys up. We don't want the pipes outside. We want them in here because we're gonna attempt to warm them up passively with the lovely air we've already got in here. So let's get this done. And the hydrogen, like I said, I'm not really sure where it came from or 
you know, what to do with it exactly. I don't remember ever seeing it there before. Uh, so I'm going to assume it was probably put in by an update. Just, just like everything else, I could be wrong. I, I get things wrong quite a bit. Alright, let me flip this around. This should work. I've, I've, I've not, I haven't tried it out yet, but I, it feels like, you know, with all the mechanics and everything, this should work just fine. Let's pop that up there, and then let's grab... I forgot to do that. Alright, let's not pop that up there. Let's drop that. Let's grab that. We're going to do all kinds of stuff here. I let's let's go ahead and put it right there. Let's do that. And then I'm going to drop you, put you back there, pick you up, and we're going to slide him right there. And there we go. And this is going to let us separate the warm water from the cooler water. You know what? Actually, this would make way more sense. I I don't know why I did it like this to be honest. It kind of looks weird. It would make way more sense to put the valve right here. So let's do that. Let's get her over here. That way my cool water will... I guess I was trying to get it away from the wall. That was kind of my main goal with that. I was talking at the same time, so, you know, uh, that's my excuse and I'm going to stick to it. Alright, where did my... There they are. I need these guys too. We're going to flip this. Now these guys are going to cause the room to cool down. If, you know, obviously past, if radiators are working correctly, it's going to radiate that cool water, that heat, the coolness into the room and allow, you know, that heat to hopefully take over. So we're going to put four of these guys on here. Not the prettiest setup, but again, we're, we're getting it done. That's, that's the goal with all this. And we got all that separate. And let's go ahead and take a look at, not my screwdriver, at the handheld here and see what we got going down. And you can see the temperature ticking down on us. That's good. That's what we want. We want to get it to probably about 20 degrees Celsius. So we got a little ways to go, but it, it is going. It is going at a pretty quick rate as well. But if you can notice here, it's probably going to go ahead and drop the temperature in here if it's working the way it should. Yep, there we go. I just saw it drop to 0. 0.6. So that, that, that you know, the, the coolness is radiating out here into the room, and the room, and it's allowing the heat to replace everything. That's how it's working. I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to try to get into scientific mumbo jumbo. Next problem we have now is the hydrogen. And I think the way I'm going to try to solve this is to, you know, I can put him back on my belt, I guess, is to, uh, we're going to vacuum all of the, oh, let's see, do I got this, I got this closed off, right? Yes, I do. And we're going to vacuum all the air into the system. Turn that on. We can turn the filters on. And the goal here is to get all of the air out of the room and into that pipe network. So that way I can, because uh, it, it's going to filter out the hydrogen, but I also don't want to sit here and have to worry about getting every last little drop of hydrogen out of the room. So we're going to kind of do this in a uh, different way. I also need to get this guy right here wired up, my heaters. So while that's vacuuming out, I'm going to pull these guys out. And done and done. Now, I don't want to turn that on yet because, again, hydrogen is flammable. Does not sound like something I want to do. I've been there, done that. Don't need my uh, face. Don't need my face burn off. All right. We're looking good. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Because I don't want to spend 20 minutes waiting on this to vacuum out every last inch of this room to get all the air out and all the hydrogen. We're going to do it this way. We're just going to open this up. And we're going to let all of that in. And we're going to let all that hydrogen out. Because the natural air out here is all oxygen. Over here, if you can't tell. So we're going to give that a minute. Let that uh, do its thing. Cycle in and out. Of course, we're out of daylight. We are almost finished, though. Let me grab the flare so we got some light in here. And I will try to use my uh, light on my suit to help keep things a little bit brighter as well that didn't look very good oh, oh okay the suction all right i was like what's going on all right we still got a little bit of hydrogen in here not much but i think i want to get every last bit of it out i don't want to risk burning down the base let's I, you know, i'll toss them in here let's do that and it's it's going down maybe i should have just vacuumed it all out. i don't know maybe it would have been quicker to do it that way who knows we can always do this too flip this guy on and he'll suction some of the stuff in here out so I'm not sure where this hydrogen is coming from maybe it, it's not outside 
because if you go out here, there's no hydrogen. So I really don't know what's creating it. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking though. I do like the atmospheric effects. Hopefully they tweak them though so they don't quite, you know, they don't look just like this. It does look neat if you get out here at nighttime, but it's kind of, uh, it, I don't know, I don't know. It, it's definitely not realistic or, I don't know how to put it. You know what I'm trying to say. Probably. Maybe. Who knows. Alright, let me look in here. Man, we're, we're talking such a small amount of hydrogen. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing here. I don't want to risk setting it. It scares me. Let's just put it that way. It does scare me. I don't want to risk burning down the base because we've only got one. Although, I need to uh, get this taken care of sooner rather than later. Come on. All right. You know what? I'm, I'm satisfied with this, at least to the point where we're going to get going, I think. And what else am I going to need for this? I think I got everything set up the way I want it. My my stuff definitely isn't going to cool off while I got this open. Point zero zero one. I wonder how far this is going to go. Is it going to ever zero zero? That's what I want to see. Point zero zero one. Alright, I think we're alright. We'll see if it comes back. Hopefully it don't. It might. Who knows. Okay, turn that off. Let's get going. And let's make sure I got everything set up in here. I got radiators on. We got that going. I am going to turn this guy on. We're going to get all that lovely lovely oxygen but not lovely coldness out of here and we're gonna make it habitable again for plants and people that's the goal get it down to where are we at here we got I think we're I think we're looking good KPA oh we got 20 over here in the corner I got uh, my microphones up in the right hand corner so I can't see that side very well Unless you want to hear me playing around with my microphone to try to move it around so I can see things correctly. That's why I use my handheld more to see what the temperature and the pressure and all that stuff is. We're getting down there. We want to get it down to at least below 1. 1 kPa. Oh, we can admire the stars a little bit while we're waiting. Stars look pretty cool in this game. I like them. I like how they move and how they... Uh, you know, there seems to be a lot more of them, maybe? I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you how it looks on Europa. I know there's a lot of stars out there, so I guess I wouldn't say there's too many of them. But, all right, here, we're getting below 1 kPa. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go consider that decent enough. Let's turn that off, put it in my pocket for now. And let's turn that guy off. Still got those guys running. I'm going to close him off, and let's open it back up and see what happens. Oh, I, I opened the wrong valve, didn't I? Alright, now let's open the correct valve and get my pressure back. Hopefully I don't blow out a window. Alright, there we go. There's all my lovely temperature, pressure, everything I wanted. And none of the stuff I didn't want. That was the goal. We wanted to get that hydrogen out of here. And we're at 18, cel 18 Celsius. So I'm going to need a little bit of heating going on. And let's hope... Let's just hope that my face don't get lit on fire. I think we're okay. I can't see how... I know hydrogen is highly flammable. I'm pretty sure we got every last bit of it out of here. I think we're all right. I'm a little overly scared here. I've had too many... Uh, I got PTSD from uh, lighting my face on fire one too many times. It only takes once, though, to be fair. All right. And that heater is rapidly heating the place up. We're just going to try to keep it at the right temperature. I don't want to... Uh, guy's closed off right yes he is I do not want we got negative 25 on that side and negative 22 and going down on this side all right I don't want to run the heater too much or we're gonna we're gonna run out of uh, power can't see out there I don't know if turn up now it doesn't help but the batteries only a couple bars on it and these heaters will run it down really really quick 
So we're going to just kind of do this a little bit and get this temperature down and eventually it's going to get to the correct temperature. You're going to have to just keep playing with it, getting it to where you need. I think this video uh, went on long enough. You can see the results here. It's, it's going down and it will get to where I want it slowly. So you got to kind of micromanage all of this and keep it where you want it. And uh, you should be able to get your stuff down to where you need it. I'm going to get it done, get this thing up to the right temperature. Make sure you don't have any hydrogen in your base. That is deadly. When I saw that, it kind of freaked out. That's why I was worrying about it because I know hydrogen can and will blow you up. And that's not what I wanted. But, uh, apparently the flare does affect temperature too. So that's not a bad thing because I need a little bit more heat right at the moment. But I'll grab that with me and take it outside here when I go out. But I'm going to wrap it up. I got everything covered I think I wanted to cover for this video. I'm going to work on trying to get some solar logic up in the next one. And we'll see what happens there. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't, I haven't tweaked around with it or messed with anything on Europa yet. It could be something I can figure out. It might be something I'm going to have some trouble with. We'll see how it goes. And where where's my pipe? I should probably should leave the light on. And all right, we're good. We're, yeah, it's dropping really quick. So you can tell it works. Everything's working good. I'm happy with it. The flare is a little bit over overboard on the temperature. But right now I need it. And the more I ramble, the more it's going to heat things, and I'll probably just grab it and take it outside with me. But alrighty, I will catch you guys here very shortly in the next video when I move on to bigger and better things, hopefully, and probably. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know.